What's up guys, today I'm going to be bringing you my first tutorial on Cinema 4D and this one I'll be showing you how to make crack text like this that I've used in my uh, YouTube background um, and this one which I made for someone else um, so yeah it uses Cinema 4D and no other software so if you don't have it unfortunately you cannot do this tutorial but yeah, um, another thing you'll need is a plugin called Frowsy, which is for Cinema 4D and supports all versions. Um, so go ahead, download that. It's pretty simple to install. If you don't know how, though, there's plenty of videos out there to go look up, or I might make my own if people seriously struggle. Um, so then go ahead and open Cinema 4D. Um, another thing you'll need quickly before, though, is a template called Adams, I think it's Adams, Lightroom. Uh, I don't worry about it, I'll have these all in the description anyway, but it's basically a template that gives you all the nice bright lights and colours that you'll need for when you put it on your text, so it just looks really cool. Um, and so on. So, to, to start with, open up Adams Lightroom which I have done many times which as you can see I have done here and then what you want to do is simply hold shift click on the top layer of your text hold shift click the bottom one uh, so it highlights them all and change it to your name for the purpose of this video I'll use mine so IXMerv and then pick a nice font. Uh, a font that I think looks cool is Incised CBT. I'm not sure if this is a downloaded one. I just downloaded loads of fonts. Um, but I think it might be a default, so you should already have it. If not, I'll put it in the description for you. So there you go. That's the basic. And then what you want to do is pick a colour to have your text as. Uh, I'll use red because that's my general colour for my name. So just copy it over the the original um, blue reflective texture. So you drop it there. And then what you want to do is duplicate this layer with the red or the colour you had on it by pressing Control C and then Control V. Um, so you have the top layer as well, and you want this one to be black. So grab Nile Black and just drag it over the top. And then what you want to do is click on that layer where you've made it black and drag it out a bit. Oh no, sorry. First you want to do is go to Caps, uh, Start, Fill It, and End, Fill It. So you have like... Um, it's like a hollow shape, but it has the edges still. So you want to make it pop out a bit. So you still have a little gap between the first layer and the second layer like that. And then I'll render this out just to show you what it looks like. Um, I'll pause this video because this Lightroom does take a while to render. But I'll come back as soon as it's done. So... See you in a minute. So there you go, once it's rendered out you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And to be honest, it looks pretty cool as it already is, but it will get better. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it looks too dark, don't worry about that, we'll brighten up a bit later. I just noticed one thing with mine, that the V is still inside the R. If you have this problem, just go to Object and put the horizontal shaping out of a bit. So it's like that, but I mean to put this down 75 now. There we go. So then, what you want to do is highlight all your text shapes and go to MoGraph, Effector Group, and drag all the texts into the group. So there you go. Then you click the group MoGraph Effector Random and you'll have something that looks like this. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. Looks pretty deformed. 
um, change the go to let me find it deformer and change it to point yeah it looks completely different you'd never think you'd be using that but yes we are put the strength down to about 32 and the seed to zero then change the f weight yes yeah, it to about well, now let's try 18 I'll render that out and come back to you once it's rendered just so you know what it looks like so this is what it looks like when it's fully rendered out and yeah like I said it does look pretty cool at the moment but it's not done yet because we want to make it look more cracked and brighten it up a bit so it still has slight colour um, so yeah it's all going good so far then you want to the next thing you want to do is click the group and go to plugins this is where you need frowsy so make sure you have it go to plugins frowsy and then frowsy and change the pieces to around say 20 20 and then click break now oops sorry what you're supposed to do is click all the texts just right click all the texts not the group, but all the text inside it. Go to plugins, frowsy, frowsy, change it to 20, break now. Now this could take up to 5 minutes, if depending on the speed of your computer. So I'll come back to you in a minute, so you, mean you probably don't want to watch all this. So be right back. Okay, so now it's done, you just want to click X and as you can see all of the layers are already highlighted click and grab them back into the group and that is done that is the final product so you want to render this by going to edit render settings 1280 by 720 save change your location put on my desktop and save it as tutorial format png png um, alpha channel 1 straight alpha on separate alpha off 8 bit differing off on include sound on not that you'll need sound um, double check all them with mine, pause the video if need be uh, global illumination on, ambient conclusion on so once you've done that click the middle one to render and this could take a while also so I'll come back to you once it's done but this is the final step on Cinema 4D and then I'll come back and bring you how to brighten it up and make it look cool on Photoshop so see you in a minute so now it's nearer to the end of the render as you can see it looks pretty cool except maybe I've done it a bit over the top um, a bit too cracky but yeah it will still look cool and um, you can change the way it looks by the effector if it's too cracky for you but now we're going to brighten up and make it look cool using an editor uh, I'm going to use Photoshop, if you have something else then use that um, but yeah, so what you want to do is open up your rendered file tutorial see it looks pretty dull Ugh. just create a white background Switch. Right. Now go to adjustments, brighten and contrast. Yeah, it's more like it. So, 150 brightness, 45 contrast. And there you go. Cracked text can muck about with some of the colour corrections make it look cool 
Make it your own, you know. You can have it like that. Uh, what else we got? Exposure. So you can just fiddle around with some of these settings. But there you go, that is how you do it. So maybe not so cracky next time, but you get the general idea. So go out there, make your own. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. I shall make more tutorials soon. Goodbye.